ericmwathetmwather.com. Let's take a look at the daily chart for Bitcoin. And I want to take a look at the lows right here. I want to show you how technical analysis would have got you close to the lows there. If you use the principles that I've been talking about for many, many years. And so that we can save time, what I'm going to do is in the description of this video, I am going to include the method or the method that we're talking about here. The main one is the uniformity principle. We'll also take a look at how you can use the MACD. Mainly the uniformity principle uses the RSI, but I'll show you how you can use the MACD. So take a look at the description. There's going to be some links. I'm going to bring you back to this amazing educational material that is all for free. And I'm going to show you how you, you would have used that to time the entry back into Bitcoin on the daily chart. And on this daily chart for Bitcoin, we can see there was a pullback from about the 8,000 price range to the lows here at about 5,500. That's a big drop. So was there anything on this daily chart that gave us an idea that this was going to be a logical reversal area? Well, if you take a look at the uniformity principle, all we have to do is figure out where we started moving higher, which is somewhere around here. And we can see that because the RSI moved above a range. So this RSI movement here was instrumental in bringing Bitcoin all the way to the highs there before the pullback. So what we do is we take that information and draw our uniformity line. Again, there should be links in the description of this video that are going to explain this method. And so once we take this level here from generated by that RSI level, we get this line, which is a uniformity support line. Anytime we have uniform activity bounce on this line, we know that it is telling us that this is going to be an entry level for a movement high. And you can see this makes sense because this is where we make a daily closing low. And from there on, you can see that the currency has gone on to trade well above that into substantially high, higher price levels. At the same time, we can also take a look here at the MACD. And we can also use the same method. So we draw a line, figure out where the MACD broke out of a range, which is this level here, coinciding with these lows. Let me show those lows. So again, the MACD movement here corresponds with the lows right there. Movement of the MACD corresponds with these price lows. And of course, we can see that that was instrumental in coming off the lows and moving higher. So what we can do here is take that information on the MACD and draw our uniformity line. And again, we can see uniform activity back to the line and back above it. That is where we can also see from the MACD confirmation that that was a turnaround situation which corresponds with the lows right there. And there's also one other observation. Take a look at this move here, where the MACD moved below zero and back above it with uniform action. That is also another method that we've been using for years for understanding turnaround situations, and that gave us the lows right there. So take a look. There should be links in the description of this video that give you more details about how to swing trade the cryptocurrency space, which is pretty much how you can swing trade any trading instrument anywhere in the globe, in any market. Eric Mwadith, mother.com. As always, good luck, peace, and blessings. E-A-C-S.